welcome to Stardew Saturday. This is going to be my Saturday playthrough of Stardew Valley. I'm super excited. I plan on doing like one week per week, which makes sense, right? Since I'm going to do it every Saturday, I'm going to play through every week for a whole week. Yeah. Anyways, I have started a co-op with a friend, but I haven't played solo yet. And we are actually still on day three, so I haven't gotten very far in. I have no idea what's going to happen. I'm not looking up any spoilers, tutorials, or how-tos, um, except the usual what gifts to give people guide because I forgot all of that. Otherwise, not really. So hopefully you guys enjoy this and you have fun with me. Let's get started. All right, we're in the loading screen. A uh, new game. We're going to keep it simple. It's going to be April. The farm is going to be honey. My favorite thing. I think it's supposed to be a star drop. I don't remember. There was a thing that activated a dialogue. If you guys remember it, let me know. I'm a girl. That's good hair. Skip the intro. Meadowlands farm. Let's go. We got our hay because the one thing I have learned is that we start with chickens and not sparse parsnips on this save. So let's go say hi to our little chickies. Let's go in here. Hello. Hi. They're so cute. I'm going to put the hay over here. But I'm gonna let them go out so that they don't eat it until it rains, you know, because gotta save the resources. So we're gonna let them out. We need to clear up some of this little area right here until the general store opens so that we can go and buy the parsnips that we actually need because money, the money in the beginning of the game is a grind, y'all. So we want to go ahead and do that and do the grind right off. And I need enough wood for a chest, so there's that too. Okay, I have to have my tools a certain way. It, I know, I know. Most people, it doesn't bother them. For me, I do have to have them a certain way or it like gets, it really gets me. I'm the same way in Animal Crossing though. My pockets have to be organized a certain way or I lose my mind. Cause after a while it does become muscle memory to, to just go to a certain thing, knowing that you're gonna find a specific tool there. I feel like every hit that I miss is like a waste of energy at this point because our energy early game is so bad. And I always have just this tiny bit of gaming gamer anxiety when I play Stardew because there's no way to like slow down the day and it goes so fast and I never finish anything. Um, it is nine o'clock so we can go ahead and go to the store before I run out of room in my pockets. So let's go do that. The second order of business will be a chest. The first is to plant my crops. So the plan is to get 10, I have room for, I have two pockets left. So we're gonna get 10 parsnips and the rest is going to be potatoes um, because they take up less space and I need energy because that's a real grind right now too. But I didn't want it to take half of my day in order to uh, water my crops. Uh, we do need the parsnips for the community bundles. I am going to do the community bundle route. I did consider briefly doing the Jojo Mart route, but I, I think I am going to go ahead and do the community center. I like doing the community center and um, Jojo Mart always feels a little icky to me. So I don't know. I know there are people doing the Jojo Mart playthrough right now. I don't know. Is it, I think there's something different about it. If there is, let me know. I, I don't know if that means I'll figure it out or I'll do it. <laughs> but maybe, maybe, maybe my mind can be changed if it's really cool. 
so we'll see. All right, we still had room for our wild seeds. Let me get this out of the way. Okay, so I'm just gonna clear out our little gardening plot and the chicken's coop. Hopefully I have enough energy to do that today. I should probably go digging in the trash. I know, sounds gross, but I probably should, but uh, I don't know. We'll, it, we'll see how much time we have. It doesn't take energy, so let's see how much time I have when um, I'm done cleaning up. Which more than likely editing me will spare you. All right, that about did it for our energy. Let's make this chest. Um, let's just drop this. And once we put our chest down, then it should pick up. I want to set you down in my usual spot. Thank you. Okay, we're going to go plant this wild seed here. And I'm going to put away most of my tools because I'm really not going to use them. And right now we have baby pockets. The first order of business that we spend money on does need to be the backpack upgrade. But for right now, let's go run around. We have three minutes. So let's go see what there is. Are there any forageables? Oh, look, we have a dandelion. Very cool. I am going to keep, I think it's five of these. I don't know. I think they actually have to be quality. I don't remember. So I'm not going to keep anything until I open the community center and can see because I don't remember um, which ones I can, I'm supposed to keep or which ones I can get rid of. Let's go say hi to Maru. Yep. And Granny. She's so cute. Oh, Penny is walking with a purpose. Hey. And you. Nice. Try not to get caught digging in the trash. I don't like you, Elliot. I don't. It was okay, thank you. I mean, at least he asked me a nice question. Ooh, I do need to unlock that bridge too because the forageables, the way to get married, everything is on that side right there. Oh gosh, there's so much to do. Let's go this way, see what's going on over here. Forget it. I think it unlocks when you get your first artifact, which is not now, apparently. What's over here? Jojo Mart. Not even Jojo Mart has anything good in their trash. Oh my gosh. Lame. Oh, let's say hi to the married couple. Hi, Robin. I might court your son, maybe. Or, you know, his would-be girlfriend if I don't take her from him. Hey. Gotta start the friendships. Hopefully I get a um, cursed chicken, a void chicken soon because he likes void eggs. I know, weird, but it's like the fastest way to romance him. Those and the tears the from the mines. Those are always good too. All right, so we made it back home. It's 7.50, I still have time. Ooh, I have no way in this way, so we're just gonna go around the other way. Okay, so we got some more wild seeds. Let's plant these before we go to bed and use the very, very last of our energy because why not? You cannot waste energy in this game. 140 gold our first day, not bad, not bad. Okay, let's check the weather for tomorrow. It's gonna rain, oops, and our fortune teller. Oh, a little extra luck today, nice. And 
the backpack. Ooh, our fishing rod. I'm excited. All right, let's get this planting out of the way. And then I'm gonna just put this stuff away and go love on some chickens. Look how cute they are. Super adorable. And I'm going to clear this. I know there are people who marry him, but I don't know. The whole raging alcoholic thing, you know, I guess it's just not my jam. Okay, we're gonna skip that. Let's see how we do with the bamboo pole. So during stream yesterday, I needed to actually get a training pole because I did really bad at fishing. So let's see if I'm still really that bad. Focus. Pay attention. <gasps> Yay! So I'm definitely not great, but I'm not terrible. Hi, I need a training call because I am not a grown-up yet. Thank you. Yay for the training rod. Let's go. My my biggest problem is getting the exclamation point. Okay, we're gonna try for one more before I give up and use the rest of my energy to go and uh, cut more wood because we definitely need more wood. <sighs> Seaweed. Also, because Willie's gonna close soon and I wanna be able to sell these before he does. All right, let's sell the fish. Take this, this, and this. Thank you, sir. Not bad, not bad. We're just gonna eat this. Could always use the extra energy okay so for those of you who are playing and just getting in because of the hype of the update the reason behind the training rod is because it leaves that little bar open just a little bit more as you gain experience it will naturally open up anyway and it'll get bigger anyway and what it does is it just keeps it bigger in the beginning so that you can um, you know catch your fish and then as your skill goes up and then you're able to, you can go ahead and swap it out for the regular rod, which is what I typically do. I'll start with the training rod sometimes if it's been a very long time since I've played, which it has right now been a very long time since I've played. So because of that, there's a little bit of a learning curve again with fishing. Fishing was always the hardest thing for me to do anyway. Um, so I just figured I would make it a little bit easier on myself by getting the training, the training rod. You know, why make things hard if you don't know, need to, right? So I got carrot seed. Oh gosh, I can't wait until my farm is clean, but it takes so long to get there. I don't have to water tomorrow, so that is the good news. I think I might spend the day fishing tomorrow because money. And then the day after that, my parsnips should be ready. And then my potatoes should be ready like a couple days after that, I think. Chopping some wood, chopping some wood. Okay, my energy is done for the night. I'm gonna go to the bar and see if there's anyone there to say hello to. There might be some friends there that I can kind of bug. I don't have the field snack recipe yet. That'll be helpful when I do. So let's say hi to all the regulars. That is the blacksmith. This is the town drunk. He already talked to me today, so he's not really to talk more than once. This is Gus and Emily. She's a little bit woo-woo, but you know, you gotta have one in every town, right? All right, day three, let's go. It's raining, yay. Oh. I should go pet my chickens before I do anything else, right? Let's go say hi to the little chickies. Oops. <gasps> Look at you all grown up giving me eggs. 
I appreciate that. Thanks, guys. I'm going to sell them because they're not really large eggs and really not much we can do with them at this point. So I'm going to sell them because we need money. We'll let our farm do what farms do. How did I just remember that I need to make my way down to the spring onion place? I do. If I remember correctly, this day usually has some not so great luck. So I'm not going to try and do too much. But I do need to do some fishing, so we're going to do that. I did get quite a few spring onions. That was nice. Any down here? No. Well, I guess I could fish anywhere, so let's just go fishing here. By far, this game has the hardest fishing mechanic out of every game that I play. Got a shad. All right. Let's try for one more. Can I get one more, please? All right, let's go. Energy is awful. My character in this game seems to have my real life energy and I want a refund. So let's put this away and we're going to sell everything else except the algae. It doesn't do a whole lot, but you know, it's better than nothing. Okay, so we need to get more of the wood cutting done in order to make it through. So we're just going to continue cutting down wood. We do need wood. Got to fix that bridge. So just going to chop all the trees on my farm. No big deal. Hopefully also I'll get the field snack recipe because that would be nice. All right, we're moving slow. Time to go to bed. It's only seven o'clock and it's already time for bed, y'all. Field snacks. Early game fishing still is the best way to make money in this game. So weather report, beautiful sunny day tomorrow, fortune teller. They're mildly perturbed today. Actually, you know what? It's a bad luck day, so let's stay close to the farm today and not really mess around. So I think I'm just going to utilize whatever energy I have to just clean up the farm and then go to sleep and go straight till the next day. So we're going to just put that away. Let's go say hi to our chickens. Hello, chicken number one. Everything happens tomorrow anyway, so I'm kind of eager to let the day just kind of end, <laughs> to let it go away, but I don't want to waste my energy because, you know, energy, it's such a commodity in this game. All right, that was all of my energy for today. I'm going to see if I could possibly plant this one seed. Oh, it's such a grind. Let's put all of this stuff away and take out the watering can. I just need to have enough energy for one water. Oh, and that did it. Okay, to bed we go. It's only 2 p.m. and to bed we go. Okay, so my face cam froze. Okay, so that's the thing from Jojo, Joja. Nice, so we have some crops, yay. Some things to sell. I know I need to buy or I need to keep some parsnips, but I'm not going to write this second because I'm about to go buy more. Oops. As soon as I water my crops, the ones I have. I think I'm gonna buy some beans because it's still early, early in the spring. 9 a.m., yay! I missed the aerobics class on Tuesday. Oh my gosh. Okay, so let's do this here and then grab some bean starter starters we can afford five i feel like we need some of these they're so expensive and that's it i'm not gonna get any more. we got 20 things we'll be fine because i do things like that oh now we have a dog yes i'll adopt the dog why do they come up with these names okay so i'm going to name him ben my uh, first dog with my husband, the first dog I ever bought my husband's name was Ben. So 
I think that's gonna be really cute. Ben looks super adorable with his little handkerchief. I love him. So now we have a dog. We gotta make sure his water bowl is filled. I don't know if it actually takes away friendship or anything, but it's probably a good practice anyway. Let's put these up here. I cannot wait to upgrade my watering can. All right, we had the perfect amount. See, it was perfect. See if the community cutscene, community center cutscene is activated yet. It should be, so we're gonna go check on that. I know you're supposed to keep five of everything, but I have enough time in the season to be able to um, do that soon. Like I don't have to do it right this second. And I'll start worrying about that on about the second week. I will keep this daffodil though, because I those do make good presents for a few people. Well, let's go see what cutscenes we can get, and then we'll go down to the beach and see if we can go foraging. All right, we got so we have the community center. Yay! I'm excited. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I gotta drink the wizard's crazy juice tomorrow. But you know what, that's fine. I'll be able to start unlocking the community center bundles and I'll be able to at least see what they need. All right, so to activate the wizard, I need to go and read one of the little dealies over here. One of the little tablets. And I think this is the only one right now. All right, so we can't read that yet, but I wanna be able to read it. So I had to pretend to try to read it. And then we're gonna keep getting a move on. I think that the mines open on the same day. So I'm gonna go and test that. Whoever did it to you, I apologize. Gosh, I have so many people to talk to still. Okay. I definitely don't have enough energy to go down into the mines. But at least I have my sword now. That's always good. Let's get out of here and finish foraging here. The Adventures Guild is always a cool thing. Um, someday we'll get the rock quarry, but today is definitely not that day. I don't know if I've ever gotten it before like a year in to the game. Not like a real life year, but an in-game year, you know? I don't know if I've ever gotten it like that. There's really not much to do today, but wander around and try to do the things, you know, the things. Oh, I didn't collect their, their eggs. Oh my gosh. Let's go say hi to the chickens. I didn't say hi to them yesterday. I'm so sorry. You gave me a quality egg. That was so sweet of you. Oh my gosh. Thank you. Least I could do is clear some weeds out of your area. They're so cute. Stardew chickens are still the best chickens, I must say. I'm gonna put the sword away. There's no way I'm gonna use it right now. I should at least try to keep a few of these now. So I'm gonna do that. We'll keep one of each of those this time. And then I don't have enough wood yet. So let's just go down to the beach. Oh, look, it's a thing. What kind of thing are you? <gasps> a dried starfish, nice. I can go to the museum now. Cool. I've pretty much talked to everyone going into the bar. I guess I'll go in and double check and see if there's anyone I missed. The good thing is that they only talk to you once a day. Once they've already said hi to you, they're done. They do not care that you exist. Aw, well. We talked to Marnie. Who are you? Oh, Pierre, my bad. I didn't recognize you from the back. They're dancing. Who's over here? Hi, Sam. Hey, Sebastian. Hi, Abigail. I don't play those little video games anymore because they're really hard. <laughs> hey, Clint. All right, so let's go back home. There doesn't seem to be any any new business going on. Um, I don't think 
I need the clam, but I might need the oyster. I don't remember. But I'm not gonna sell it this time, just just because, just in case. Uh, let's do this. And then we'll keep these. And yeah, that should be good. Let's use the rest of the energy I have and cut down, no. We don't have enough energy to, to cut down a tree for sure. All right, let's go before I get sluggish. Let's go to bed. Oh, we're almost there with the wood. We're almost there. I just need 66 more. Go to sleep for the night. I got a recipe. Basic fertilizer. Let's go. And I even made money even though I didn't sell anything. That's pretty cool. That's some exciting news. All right. I have mail. You have mail. That is from the wizard. And I knew I was gonna have to see him. I do need to go to the mines and I need like 20 copper ore to get a smelter. Um, so I'm gonna go and do that today. I didn't check my luck first though. Maybe I should do that. It would be wise. Oh, I forgot about my doggy. I have a dog now. Go fill up our water. Where is the dog? I remember my dog before, like actually being near me and being able to like pet it and give it love. Why? Why can I not love you? Like my IRL dog is always under me. Where did this dude go? Thank you for the eggs, madams. Where is my dog? I probably shouldn't spend a lot of time looking for the dog. Probably. Let's go see the wizard. Oh well, hindsight is 2020. I'm gonna go check the spring onions. So I have not done that in days now. And no, definitely not. I think that's a once a week thing. It might be a weekly thing. I don't know. I'll check it on Mondays. Monday seems like a good day to check it. Ooh, horseradish. Hello. You know, in real life, we can walk through weeds. Well, you know, it, technically, if we can walk, we can walk through weeds. I could roll over weeds. Ooh, I got a quality horseradish. I didn't notice that. Okay, so let's go to the community center and see if I can read what's going on over there. Exotic foraging bundle. That is winter, spring. Oh no, I had everything. Okay, cool. Um, so let's do that. Let's put you, let's put you, and let's put you. Nice, what did I get? Spring seeds, nice. Okay, let's see what the other ones are. Spring crops, a parsnip. Okay, so I do have all of these planted right now. So I should have them very soon. And I'll be able to actually complete that one. Let's go activate Gunther. Of course I'm gonna donate, you give me stuff. Take this. We're pretty close to getting that backpack, y'all. I really, really want that backpack upgrade. This is going to take most of my energy, but I'm going to plant these seeds that I have because it's free seeds and who wouldn't want free money? Also, because some of the spring seeds take forever. I think vanilla, the last time I played, I played modded. So I think the vanilla playthrough is probably going to take me I'm gonna say 10 years <laughs> to get through Ginger Island and to like get through the game. I'm gonna say maybe 10 years, but it's fine, it's fine. It's all in good fun, right? Okay, I'm just gonna quickly use my energy by cutting down a tree. Okay, so this is future me here saying that I actually forgot to hit the record button for day seven. I did finish the first week, but on day seven, what I did was I pretty much sold some potatoes. I gave Robin a potato and then overnight I made enough money to get my backpack. That's pretty much it. 
I went to the mines, I only got like three floors down because it was kind of an afterthought and I didn't have a full energy bar, which y'all know how that goes, energy, early game. I'm super excited to play week two for, with you and hopefully it goes much smoother than week one. Thank you guys for being here. I appreciate you so much. I know you guys could be doing absolutely anything in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit and I appreciate you so much for that. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.